The combined spinal epidural, or CSE, is a neuraxial block designed to provide local anesthesia for surgical procedures, including urologic, gynecologic, and lower extremity operations. It has the added benefit of postoperative pain relief for these same procedures. It is also commonly used to provide analgesia for parturient women. Required equipment for the combined spinal epidural includes a betadine prep kit, sterile drape, and tegaderm. You will also need a sterile mask and gloves. You should obtain an epidural kit that contains 18 and 22 gauge needles, 1% lidocaine, a 3 milliliter syringe, an 18 gauge TUI needle, a loss of resistance syringe, sterile saline, a lure lock, and a 20 gauge epidural catheter. Also obtain a spinal needle. Here we use a 24 gauge 124 millimeter pencil point spinal needle. Ensure that the spinal needle slides easily through the TUI needle. When the hub of the spinal needle is flush with the hub of the TUI needle, the spinal needle tip should extend past the tip of the TUI needle. Position the patient in the upright sitting position with his or her back facing you. Ask the patient to place chin on chest, allow shoulders to droop, and arch the back toward you. Palpate the patient's spine to identify the vertebral interspaces, starting at the level of the iliac crest. This approximates the L4 level of the spine. It is recommended in an adult that the spinal needle is placed below L1 to avoid trauma to the spinal cord. Once a lumbar interspace is identified, cleanse the area with betadine solution, wiping in concentric circles. Repeat this process three times. Allow the betadine to dry prior to needle insertion. Place a sterile drape on the back with the pre-cut opening centered on the vertebral interspace that will be used for needle placement. Using a sterile syringe, draw up 3 milliliters of 1% lidocaine for local anesthesia. In a second syringe, prepare the medication required for spinal anesthesia. Using a 24 gauge needle, create a wheel in the superficial tissue with the 1% lidocaine. Using the larger 22 gauge needle, proceed to inject the lidocaine into deeper tissues. As you inject the lidocaine, use the infiltration needle as a finder needle to ascertain the location of the bony spinal landmarks. Identify the TUI needle. Count the 1 centimeter markings on the needle barrel to determine its length. Insert the TUI needle at a slightly superior angle into the intervertebral space previously established by the finder needle. Grasp the hub of the needle to control the rate of needle insertion. Direct the TUI needle until the tip encounters the tough tissue of the interspinous ligament. Hold the hub of the needle and remove the stylet. Fill the loss of resistance syringe with 4 cubic centimeters of air or saline and connect it to the hub of the TUI needle. Grip the needle between the index finger and thumb of your non-dominant hand. Secure your hand against the patient's back. With the thumb, gently tap on the plunger, feeling for loss of resistance. Insert the needle no more than 2 millimeters at a time until loss of resistance is achieved. Easy injection of the air indicates that the needle is in the epidural space. Insert the 24 gauge spinal needle through the TUI needle. As the spinal needle passes through the tough dura into the subarachnoid space, a sensation of release may be perceived. Clear cerebrospinal fluid will drip slowly from the needle hub. Gentle aspiration of cerebrospinal fluid causes a swirl of CSF into the syringe and confirms the needle's correct location. After ensuring the spinal needle is located in the subarachnoid space, slowly inject the anesthetic medication. Count the number of centimeters from the hub of the needle to the skin. This indicates the distance from the skin surface to the epidural space.
Grip the hub of the TUI needle with your non-dominant hand. Place the strain relief device on the catheter and thread the epidural through the needle. Advance the catheter until 6 cm of catheter tubing is within the epidural space. If the catheter does not advance easily, ask the patient to inhale deeply. The negative intrathoracic pressure opens up the epidural space and may allow the catheter to pass without resistance. After the epidural has been correctly placed, carefully withdraw the TUI needle while holding the catheter in place. Continue to withdraw the needle over the catheter. Insert the exposed end of the catheter into the lure connector and snap the connector closed to prevent contamination. Aspirate the catheter to check for cerebrospinal fluid or blood. Air bubbles or slow-moving fluid indicate proper placement. A test dose of 1.5% lidocaine with epinephrine is given following aspiration to ensure the catheter is not placed in an intravascular structure. Before injecting the test dose of epinephrine, notify the patient of symptoms that may be experienced if the catheter were not located in the epidural space. Also, monitor the patient for increases in heart rate or blood pressure, as these are signs of intravascular injection. Remove the sterile drape. Apply benzoin to the back in a small area surrounding the insertion site and over the posterior shoulder. Loop the catheter and place it on the benzoin. Place a tegaderm over the insertion site. Using metapore tape, cover the perimeter of the tegaderm to keep the epidural site clean and dry. Place a label on the epidural catheter.